All right, welcome everyone to another episode of the Soviet Union in the Kaiserak Lawn. So guys, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to attack the Germans and hopefully conquering them. And I say hopefully because I'm not sure if we could do it, but we're going to try. We're going to try. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to declare war, claim like a little tiny province over here. Like something really in sub uh, subquential, and then what I'm going to do is then declare war like for a bigger goal, you know, maybe something like total annexation, and then we're just basically going to take all the German land in one fell swoop. And because we're the German, I mean, because we're the Soviet Union, I believe no one's going to bat an eye when we do that. So, let's quickly speed away to the point where we could do this, and yeah, I have nothing else to say, people. I am totally ready. I'm totally ready for this moment. Like, I can't wait for this. And apparently you guys are at war with the Great British, Italy, and everyone. Ooh. I would say Austria is going to win this, though, because I don't think the British can actually get any troops over there to help Italy. So, Italy, I'm sorry, but you're going to be more broken up than ever in this game. But don't worry, I'll, I'll, you'll slowly be added to my empire, so uh, take some joy in that. Buton, we have gained our force. Pay bills. Causes belly. Oh no. France, you didn't do what I think you did. Oh, France, please tell me you didn't do what I think you did. Oh, France, you did what I think you did. Okay. Well, if I was to go in with this war, should I become the war leader? Uh, yes. Okay. I should have become the war leader. Yes, I did. Good. Now that I became the war leader, and because I know you're kind of really bad at this, France. Well, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all my troops up to speed. Um, yeah, we got the war, everyone. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to come from the French. I really should, though, because the French are kind of annoying that way. But, yes, everyone, we are at war with the French. Hey, hey, Ottomans, propose peace. Just get out of the war while you can. I totally won't judge you if you try to come in. Also, Persia, you want to come in and come help me? I mean, we're buddies and all, so I would, I would, I would like a little help from you. I mean, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh no! Shoot, I think I just lost my alliance with the Great British. So maybe before I do that, form an alliance, they would accept. Wow, they still, still want to form an alliance with me. Good, I like you guys. You guys think ahead, and you guys like to be my friend. Yeah, everyone, all my troops just move in. We're going to move in and see if we can backstab the uh, Germans. Okay, but we have to make sure I have to see who the sides are right now. It's us, France, Soviet Union versus basically the middle block. Hmm. Okay. Uh, see, people, what I want to do is I definitely want to call the, the British in. I, I definitely do want to call the British in, but... I feel like if I call the British in, they're going to become the war leader, and that's going to, like, uh, if I want to do any kind of, like, war goals, it's going to completely mess me up. And that's, I don't like that. I want to make sure that if I want to add any war goals, I can add in some war goals. So, what we're going to need to do is we're just going to need to hopefully fight out the Germans for a little bit, apply enough pressure to them, that they're going to be, like, oh... Yeah, maybe we should stop attacking the French for a little bit. Maybe we should go deal with the Russian problem moving in the back. Because I'm going to move in as quickly as I can. Especially with my troops being ultra good at sieging. Yeah! Go German power! I mean, not German. Go Russian power! Okay. I'm just going to keep sieging on and just keep moving in at a good rapid pace. And we already got Kiev back in our control. Uh, Germans are starting to move over here. Um, over here, the French... Ooh, I'm really scared of that death stack right there. I'm not sure the French can actually deal with that. They're dealing with all this pretty good, but that Netherlands... Uh, we're losing pretty badly, probably because of the French. Probably. Um, and if I was to call you guys in, you guys still would join in. Good. Is there anyone I can call in that'd be kind of useful? Maybe... Hey, Finland! Would you guys like to join a war that potentially doesn't really involve you? But, yeah! Good job, guys. You guys are good people to have as vassals. Okay. Hey, China, would you guys like to join my war against the uh, oppressive powers of the 
Oh wait, if I call them in, I won't be able to call in the British. Never mind, just forget what I just said, because I kind of want the British more than I want the, the Chinese. Just saying, they have a little bit better stuff. And let's see, you guys are going to be able to fight against the uh, Den of uh, Swedish? Ooh, okay. This is the perfect opportunity for me to, to prove me wrong here. Don't lose your troops. Okay, they're going to lose their troops. Uh, I don't want to call them in yet, uh, but I'm going to have to. Dang it. <laughs> Britain, would you come save us? Please? I feel like I have to call you in, but I don't want to. Okay, yes, please come save this war before we become all, like, you know, dead. I'm also going to go attack these uh, German troops. Because I feel like I have, I have like, literally a hundred troops right here about to go attack one person. If I lose this, I'm going to be really shocked at my own troops and neptude. There we go. Doesn't... You should have all died, but okay, just just kill him in just kill him in in this province. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay. And now we have the uh, Scandinavian army. I'm pretty sure this is the only Scandinavian army. Uh, there you have more armies actually, but it's the only Scandinavian army that we care for. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is keep Blitz and Krieging down all the way down to here. I have my land over here being occupied. Wow, France, why did you have to start the war before we were ready? Like, did was it really that important for you to get your your Alice Lorraine region? Like, did we really have to go through this? I mean, I, I swear there were way more possibilities we should have accepted than going for instance. Okay, all right. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to engage these guys in a very my setting kind of way. But it seems like they just don't want to take the bait, and we ended in a tie. Curse you, France. Curse you with all of the Soviet Union might. That should have been our victory right there. But we should have been able to take more land than we needed. But sadly, you want to be an aggressive mofo and did not wait for the rest of us to be ready. <sighs> uh, if you haven't noticed, I am seriously mad at France right now. Also, I apparently am going to go declare war on, on Japan. Uh, after, wait, China should be ready to declare war on Japan in how many days? Can, can, can we get a truce timer here? Like, when does the truce run out? Till 1938, okay. So what I want to do is I want to do an all total offensive against the Japanese. Uh, and it looks like Republic of China is actually fighting against an entirely new foreign threat that I don't even want to think of. Yeah, let's not think of that foreign threat. And oh man, that, that really disappoints me right there. Like we could have reconquered back all of our land if the stupid French had been. Ugh. Okay, friends, if we go to war again, don't do that. Okay, don't attack until I'm ready. When I say go, then you attack. You don't go before the you don't be, go before the gun fires. Okay, that's just a common rule in almost any sport. You don't go before the gun fires. If you go before the gun fires, you become disqualified, and we don't want that. So, don't go before the gun fires, okay? All my troops start migrating this way to the Great Siberian Winter. Because what we are going to have to do is we're going to have to go fight the uh, uh, Japanese here. And I'm going to have to wait until this stupid war down here is done with for both the uh, British and the, uh, you know... UK to be all ready to actually be buddy buddies with each other because right now they're all going to be they hate each other so if I call either of them in they're going to be all like oh we don't want to come in because we're at war with this guy and oh we don't want to come in because we're at war with that guy I'm going to be like can we just set aside our petty differences of like a one province thing and just go to war against the more powerful Japanese over here yeah I mean the Japanese are kind of more my threat anyways but still I feel like we could totally, they feel like much more of an enemy than anyone else in the game. I mean, seriously, the Germans have been knocked out, and... Actually, I kind of think about it, I, I probably would be the new threat of the world. Uh, never mind, don't, don't think about the threats of the world, you don't want to know who the threat of the world is. It definitely isn't the red guy over here, who's, who's menacingly looking at everyone and thinking about who he can conquer next. No, definitely not him. And let's see. 
Army maintenance, combat width, we're improving our industry by a lot. We're still fully supporting all of our troops, which is actually keeping our economy still very good. Let's see, let's also get maybe our administration up. And that crashed our economy. Wait, wait, it kind of keeps our economy going? I, I, very confused about these numbers here. Wait. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, maybe decrease defensive stance a little bit? Just a little bit? No, that just, no. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's go down to like 51%. Yes? Yes? No, no. Long live the Soviet Union! Okay, I give up. Seems like that one wants to be very finicky, and I don't think I can figure it out. So, I'm just not going to. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, yes, let's move our troops over here to the border. Hopefully Japan won't take the initiative and attack the uh, Republic of China before they're ready. Which, actually, I would do, but... Yeah. And we're gonna see... We can basically claim one core province, but that's going to be our kind of gateway province into it. And I preferably would want to have the Republic of China on here because this would be definitely what they would want in this. And by the way, they are destroying the British Raj here. Like, China is just pulverizing the British Raj. Ouch. <laughs> I have nothing else to say to that except, ouch. Okay, let's see, we have Austria right now doing its kind of thing. Hmm, you know, we could actually become friends with Austria. Could we? Could we? Hmm, yeah, it's actually in the realm of possibility that we could become friends with Austria. But, I really don't want to, so... Yeah, I don't think I will. The Spanish Civil War, Republican victory! Good job, Republicans, you guys have won another day. Yeah! Now, what are you going to do with that newfound power? Uh, did the British Raj just become an eighth power of the world? Did, did it finally happen? No. But something happened because Italy's eighth. Who, who are the great powers right now? Spain, Republic of China, Ottoman Empire, Canada, Netherlands. Ooh. Yeah, this war with China just completely knocked the British out. That's sad. That is so sad right there. Oh man, look at all those troops. If we had all these Chinese troops helping us out against the uh, Japanese, I don't think the Japanese are going to win this time. Oh man. And fire for effect. Fire, underline, for effect, underline, D-E-S-C. -E. Yeah! Greatest description in the world. Okay, and let's get back to our empire over here. Uh, we're having apparently some issues over here in South America, South Africa. Oh yeah, we have a... I forget we sometimes have South Africa underneath our realm right now. Hmm. Good job for you two. You guys have joined the communist, communist dream. Like, how... wait. How does... I forget. How does our sphere of influence work right now? Hmm. We seem to own, like, a good amount over here. A good amount in the entire world. China is owned by no one because no one can control China. And... Hmm. The world looks very pretty right now. Okay. Oh, we shoot dietrician. Okay. Uh, spread out. Spread out. Spread out. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, spread out. Like, keep your armies as far away from each other as possible. Let's see. Would that be enough for you guys to almost give up your war? No, the British. Are, I'm pretty sure. Blitz and Krieg! Everyone, we just discovered Blitz and Krieg. That is awesome. We just discovered Blitz and Krieg, that's awesome. But, yes, the British won't give up because it's not technically their land. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, my goodness. That's, that's kind of funny. That, that's really funny right there. Okay, wow, we lost a lot of troops in that purge. Holy moly. What the heck? Oh, my goodness. We lost a ton of troops. Wait, wait, assassinate Lenin, ooh. So on the 20th of August, Trotsky was attacked in his home in Mexico with a mountainous ice axe by undercover MVs agents wound up in The blow to Mermaid's head was wholly delivered and failed to kill Trotsky instantly, as Murchina had intended. Witnesses stayed at Trotsky's 
almost again began struggling fiercely with him. Hearing the commotion, Chojibar got burst into the room. I nearly killed Mr. but Chojibar stopped. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Uh, but witnesses say but Cho hearing the bodyguards, but Chojibar stopped them. Lamenty saying that the assassin should be made and answer questions, was taken to a hospital, operated on, and survived for more than one day, dying at the age of 16. Wow. Okay! So we just killed, um, uh, Lenin Trotsky. If you guys don't know, he was the... Besides, um, Stalin, he was the other right-hand man to, uh, Lenin's revolution. So, yeah, we just killed him. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, and our troops... Man, we lost so many troops in that great purge. But, I'm waiting for this war to end. Patiently waiting for this war to end. As we keep getting more technologies. As main field operation base has now been researched. And, okay. You guys going to end this war now? Britain, I think you've lost. I'm, I'm like, I'm almost positive you guys have lost. Now, can we please end the war? I mean, unless you actually put an army down here, I don't... Oh no, did the French and the British just declare war on each other? That would be probably, probably the most... Wait. No? Then why do we have a random French army over here? Sieging up... Oh no, that's not a random French army, that is a... What? Is that a... Wow, that's actually really good animation tanks. Hmm. Props to the guy who still designs all the icons. They really do look like tanks. Okay. Now. Over here, I really want to declare war on Japan. On Japan. Uh, wait. How long has it been? Can we actually declare war on Germany now? No, not until 1942. That sounds like there's some kind of historical reference there that I should be getting, but I'm not quite. Hmm. Okay. We can declare war. A new Kaiser! The great leader sold the great war. Kaiser Wilhelm has died. He will no longer be chastised or remember the minds of the German people. Long live Kaiser Louis Ferdinand. So everyone, the first Kaiser has died. And finally this war has ended. Thank goodness. Okay. Time to go fight these guys. Containment forced another country which has thrown off pretenses. Civilized into the realm of intellectual affairs. To vastly reduce its ambition. Uh... What does that do? Prohibit army. Nah, let's let's acquire a core. I don't quite know where this is, but I'm just gonna assume it's somewhere I can actually reach. Hokkaido. And calling everyone I know. Let's see who joins the call to go kill the Japanese. Okay? Because I wanna this is my revenge for the last time they invaded me. Okay? Yeah. This is this is this is my revenge. This is the Soviet revenge. So the Republic of China joined the Persians, the Ottomans, the Finnish, the French, and the UK. Alright, so after the Republic of China had just been, they've been just been mortal enemies for years, they finally are just like, hey, we're just going to be friends now, and there's no hard feelings about what happened, you know, a couple of years ago. Okay, so let's just fight, let's just fight the Japanese now. Okay, and we're just like, cool. <laughs> uh, things you can do in history, man. Things you can do in history. Okay. Already the first battles have been are being fought. My army is apparently way better than it was back in the day. I think it's because we have a massively better grasp on what we were supposed to do. Oh wow, we are destroying them. Okay, siege up whatever we can. Just move them out of our country as quickly as possible. And do you, I should get some Finnish troops here very soon. Some Ottoman troops and some Persian troops. Either from here or from there. Also got some French troops over here because French are awesome. Okay. I'm not gonna deal with this. I'm hoping I'm hoping the uh, Republic will be able to deal with this, but I'm not entirely sure. We're gonna figure this out all together. But I'm gonna try to take over all their land down here. Take out the rest of the uh, Chinese uh, Japanese, sorry, sorry, wrong, wrong people. Take out the rest of the Japanese over here. Take out all their land. And then we'll go back and go deal with the rest of this. Okay. And what provinces are we fighting over again? Hokkaido? Is this Hokkaido? I, I, I really wish... Yes, this is Hokkaido. Oh. Oh. Wow, that means I have to actually prepare an invasion of Japan. Hmm. That's going to be interesting. I've never done that before. 
Can I just like go right here? Yeah, let's just go. Ah, oh. well, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.